Hello everyone, this is Quota giving you a shoutcast between myself and Ashram here on Metopolis. Um, a shout out to Bistra who named this replay as I was watching or as I was playing it during the live stream. Um, it is, well, I shouldn't tell you the name now, I'll tell you the name at the end of the game so it doesn't ruin any of the fun for you guys right now. So here I am spawning over here at the 1 o'clock position of Metopolis um, where a Laz span, spawn on that last game where it was against another Zerg player. Anyways, Ashram's am spawning over here at the 3 o'clock position. Now just getting some drones and also getting an early gas, so a very early gas right now. Um, from no, not going for that early gas. Oh, he was doing this. Was he doing the spawning? Oh, he did the extractor trick. So very nicely done doing that extractor trick, building that extractor, and then canceling it. So he now is sitting at 11. So I say good luck, have fun. He says the same thing, and now I'm building the supply depot for the one person who asked me, "Am I from Britain?" No, I am not from UK. So, but maybe someone else was that was from some other channel. Anyways, right now here I have a hatchery now being um, pushed into position, and now a spawning pool being built behind these mineral lines. These mineral lines, um, this the spawning pool behind the mineral lines is a very common tactic right now, as it's very very um difficult to watch. And um, also shout out to live um, um for Ashram. Ashram is a a cool guy, a lot of fun to play against. Um, I told him I was live streaming, and um, he responds back, and he was pretty fun, funny about the whole entire experience right now. Here we have an overlord sitting um, up here as well, dr just trying to do some scouting. He's going to see that I'm going to build that barracks, and realizes that he does not want to have that leave that overlord right there. Um, hatch hatchery now, or see, I'm going to get pwned on TV. Um, hatchery now, um, still producing more units, currently sitting at 11 over 26. Still does not have that queen yet. So the queen requires that spawning pool. Spawning pool now just getting done, and now going to be producing that queen in just a moment. Here on the other hand, I I think I build this front door a little bit awkwardly. And and it doesn't and I'm gonna be forced to build another front door unit here and, and I'm gonna be getting some Marines as well getting those Marines in order to be able to um, uh, push back any Zerg attack now the Zerg so far uh, what I've seen um, have a number of options they can go they can either try to swarm you with lings right now or they can go roaches roaches are very very um, very strong unit and their upgrades just continue to make them strong throughout the game moving while burrowed and also regenerating a lot of hit points while burrowed so that makes them a really really deadly unit right now i have that scv just still running around on the inside of that map trying to make sure that i don't see a roach warren because if i see a roach warren that is going to change everything up and in fact there is a roach warren as i click on it i'm like oh crap i hate roaches so um, Roach is now coming back in. Now we have that Queen now coming in. So that Queen's going to be trying to come in and try to take down this SCV. As soon as I saw that Queen, I should have just tried to get the heck out of Dodge. Try to get out of there. But no, my my poor SCV at one hit point it takes down and explodes into itty bitty pieces right there. So that drone's going to go ahead and head back to start mining once again. Back over here, I am building a tech lab. And um, build that tech lab and try to get some... Um, try to get some marauders and and get a supply depot right here now my strategy at this point is only get marauders and get enough to um, to secure a front door and nothing else so here i'm also going to go ahead and do that unit overlay and also show everyone um the hit points right there so and i'm going to be building a factory and building the factory and then tech to banshees um I've tried to um, counteract roaches with everything on the ground with reapers with marines um and with tanks, nothing works. So if I think that my opponent's going to be going mass roaches, I will go mass banshees um, to try to counter that. So now single roach warren coming into play, and now he has five roaches using that larva injection very very well and moving out right now rapid regeneration they get additional hit points um, or very very fast hit points while being burrowed. Um, which is going to be coming into position now that I have that single marauder sitting up there and um, with the with that marauder I will be able to deal high damage to towards those units and um, even though the roaches can shoot back um, right there and they don't really want to be try to fight back in this position as the as I have marauders here so if if I have marauders in this position that's just a really really bad and the roaches realize that they cannot really deal any any damage at this time so they're gonna go ahead and pull back out single overlord sitting out here trying to make sure that there is no expansion being set up here as well and right now I am gonna do my uh, what I call my um, what add-on swap so I can start building those banshees the instant my starports are done just lift it up drop it back down 
and now I'm lifting up this barracks over here. I should probably have built the starport over here as well, so I can start using that tech lab a little bit sooner. Currently have two roaches on my front door, and building, dropping that barracks, dropping that factory, and now going to start producing those banshees, so lifting up those buildings once again, just trying to move them around. Um, right now upgrading um, currently has five larvae off of that um what larva injection once again large group of roaches just sitting in the base and um, no they do not have burrow research yet i think burrow is a layer requirement yeah so unable to um, get burrow yet once again getting more larva injection again to try to produce a larger army um, total drone count 23 to 21 so once again i am getting out mined but i do in fact have a mule so that mule is going to get edge me up just a little bit i am producing hellions hell being used in order to just try to scout out the rest of the map. I want to make sure that my opponent is not out scouting or out um, out macroing me at any point in this game. And out macroing me at this point would be a really, really bad news. I'm trying to figure out if I have enough time. And I think I can get this all in one replay. Um, so here we go. I'm going to speed up the game just a little bit for now and then move out with those Hellions. Okay, no, go back to the faster speed. Hellions now moving around, making sure that there are no expansions, no units really moving around anywhere and just continuing to continue to play around here a little bit. There, Ashram does have a drone here. Oh, I thought I checked this location and it looks like I didn't because Ashram may be setting up an expansion on this high ground and I'm not quite um, ready for that yet. Right now, um, a swarm of Zerglings sitting in there and along along with a, a, what, a nine road Roaches, nine roaches and uh, 14 zerglings, more larva injections, so getting a lot of larva off of that, once again being able to just swarm and produce a very, very large army. But once again, um, because it's an army of zerglings and roaches, I will be able to destroy this um, army just really easily with a couple banshees. So currently I have, uh, what, four banshees in play, and those banshees are going to be heading over, sitting at 54 over 67 food right now, compared to 46 over 90. And I think, okay, four banshees should uh, just about be the right amount of numbers. Hellion's going to be coming up the ramp, and I'm going to try to test what is in here. And um, I'm like, oh, Hellions, and, and Hellions now try to just destroy some of those drones. Dr and drones are now being destroyed. I'm, I'm going to see whatever he attacks me with to see and whether or not I can really come in with those Banshees. And yeah, the whole entire army is just a large ground army. I'm like, okay, that's perfect. Large ground army against a Banshee army. Um, I am loving this game right now. So here comes in. I'm going to get one more Banshee, a group of five Banshees now coming in, waiting for that last Banshee to come in and join in on the rest of that fight. And here comes in those banshees, and I here I come in and just start splattering, just trying to destroy this army right now, trying to deal damage. Um, quickly try to focus down that queen, and the queen is the only unit that can deal damage right, um, towards those banshees. Move, moving into the back of the base right now, just focusing down those drones. Drones getting splattered right there, and drones just getting splattered right there. And now um, he had, and I didn't realize this, but he had researched. Um, he had researched the transport upgrade and now is moving those units off to that north hand side. So I was thinking, oh yeah, I pretty much have this game. Um, roaches are going to try to go ahead and push in on this front door. So I start massing more units over here, making sure that if he does try to push in on this front door, I'm okay. But unbeknownst to me, he's coming in on this backside. Luckily, I do in fact have a couple turrets able to take down a couple of those overlords before they drop anything. And more um, overlords trying to come in, able to take down a couple of those overlords. And now here comes those roaches. So a swarm of, what, seven roaches and a lot of zerglings now just swarming into my base. I realize this, and I'm going to come back with my marines, my marauders, a couple of tanks to just try to finish this off as as my um, what, uh, banshees are finishing off the rest of, the rest of these extractors right now. I have a sending a single banshee back in order to in order to be able to fight back these roaches as even though it's just one banshee it's going to be able to really just fight back against these units so two banshees now currently fighting back and a single siege tank going to get destroyed but that is going to be the game and um, just the pure damage being dealt by so many of these uh, so many of these banshees that just try to finish this off sitting on 21 scvs right now an um, opponent still has a couple of roaches sitting out there but really not going to be able to push into that base i'm sitting at 50 over 51 food i am upside down in terms of food cap and now ashram says gg so i say, go ahead and counter with another gg and finish off whatever building is this ashram quickly says hi mom sorry so that just makes a uh, makes me like the guy even more just having a fun game like that so hope you guys enjoyed this game um i out the name of the game was i out zerg the zerg just swarming with air and being able to um de destroy ashram thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed that game